Shalom, Shalom, Koholayim La, Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechachardash. Double honors to the elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akiam out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And a strong Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth eyes from Yahawada. Amoth eyes from Yahawada. Coming at y'all with another psalm. Uh, psalm 107. A celebration of the return from exile. A celebration of the return from, e from exile. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of Yahweh say so whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of Yahweh, because they rebelled against the words of Yahweh, and contended with the and, and contemned contemned and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bounds in sunder. Oh, that man would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he had broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools because of their transgression. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then the cry unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. Then the cry unto the then they cry unto unto Yahweh in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distress. He sent his word and healed them. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh that men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing that they, they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. These see the works of Yahweh and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and riseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven. They go down to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto Yahweh in their trouble and he bringeth them out of their distress. He maketh the storm a calm. He maketh the storm a calm. 
so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them into their des desired haven. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. O oh, that man would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wondrous and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into wilderness and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth, he turneth the wilderness into a standing water and dry ground into, into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and show the fields and plant vineyards, which many yield fruits of increase, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multiplied greatly and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again, they are minished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where, they, where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice and all iniquity shall stand and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Call La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rukakradash Kwam Yasharala Wa Abad Babal Shalom.